Hey everyone, how's it going? Happy Saturday to each and every one of you, no matter where you may be. Thank you so much for joining me. It really means the world. I'm so glad you guys are here today. Well guys, I just recently put out a video which is top 10 fragrances in my collection, and that video was Niche Edition. Well today I thought I would follow it up with another video, and this time it's gonna to be top 15 fragrances in my collection, and this one is gonna be Designer Edition. So let's go ahead and dive right in. All right guys, the first fragrance I wanna talk about is kind of a dark, mysterious, mature fragrance. It is a flanker to the original bad boy itself, the original OG, and that's Aqua de Jo. Guys, if you've been hiding under a rock, then you probably don't know about Aqua de Jo, but most likely you do. It is one of the all-time best-selling men's fragrances in the world. It is created by master designer Giorgio Armani. It is an absolute masterpiece. And it's, this is the follow-up flanker to that, guys. And this fragrance is absolutely amazing. It is dark, mysterious. It's got a more mature vibe. It still maintains that aquatic feel, guys. But it's also got that incense note that makes this fragrance, you're able to wear it any time of the year. It's very versatile. You can wear it for any occasion. It works perfect in the office. And like I said, you can wear it all year round. And I really love this fragrance because it still maintains that aquatic note, you know, that fresh, vibrant but then that incense gives it that dark, mysterious vibe for a more mature man. Man, I absolutely love this fragrance. It's so addicting. It's almost a religious experience, and this is one of the best fragrances in my collection, so I picked this one, guys. So listen, if you're looking for one fragrance for all year round, and you're not a collector like me, and you're just stopping by, then look no further than Aqua Di Gio Profumo. All right, guys, keeping it moving. The next one on my list, this is by Yves Saint Laurent, and there's a few by Yves Saint Laurent on my list. This one is called YSLY, and this is EDP. Guys, I really love this fragrance. I love everything about it, from the weight of the bottle to the presentation. It smells so good. Let's go ahead and spray this one, because I like it so much. So YSLY is just so great for so many reasons. Again, this is considered a blue fragrance. Guys, this one is so versatile. It works any time of the year. I love the apple. The apple and the tonka are blended so well together. The ginger gives it a nice vibrance, helps balance out the sweetness. And guys, there's some nice woody nuances to this. This is the perfect fragrance. And I do believe this is not just for men. Women can get away with wearing this too. It is so delicious and so sweet and a very versatile fragrance. Again, if you're one of those just stopping by or just passing by and you don't wanna have hundreds of fragrances in your collection like this crazy guy right here, then this is the one fragrance for you that you can get away with wearing all year round. All right, guys, staying with that blue fragrance theme, this one right here, this is Versace and this one is called Dill and Blue. Guys, this is one of my favorite fragrances in my collection. You can't tell from the light, but I've used a lot of the juice in this one. And what I love about Versace is their price point. They keep the, the prices so nice, especially if you buy online. Guys, whenever you're buying fragrances, make sure you buy online, look for the discounters. If you guys are concerned or new and you don't think these discounters are reliable, just go ahead and email any one of us or send me a direct message or message me here on YouTube and I'll let you know if they're a good site or not. Um, but guys, buy online. You can get this somewhere in the $50 range. It is so good, There's so many reasons, guys. The citrus, the incense, there's tonka in here, which makes this uh, nice and sweet. And there's also a very nice freshness about this. I wear this for so many occasions. It's fun, it's flirty. Like I said, it's very vibrant. You can wear this to work because it's mass appealing. You're not gonna offend anybody. You can wear this to a wedding. You can wear this to a barbecue. You know, all the holiday season that's coming, all the holiday parties and the season that's coming up, you can wear this and not offend anybody, guys. It is so, so good. All right. Next one on the list in this top 15. And these are in no particular order, guys. This is one of my all-time favorites. I love wearing this in the summer, but I do feel like I can get away with wearing it this time of year as well. This is Terre de Hermes. Guys, this is such a cool bottle as well. And then this cap just kind of slides down like this. Up, down. Let's go ahead and spray this one. Oh. Man, there's something so old school about this, guys, but it's still modern enough. It's very classic. It's very classy. I really love this one. It's nice and citrusy, but it's a dirty citrus. It's like very earthy. It's not sweet and in your face. And this one seems to last on my skin. I think there's some vetiver in here as well, guys. I really love this fragrance. And like I said, it's got that old world charm, but with a modern twist. And I really, really love this one. It's so classic and elegant. All right, guys, now we're gonna switch gears here and talk about a winter fragrance real quick. 
This is another one from Armani, Armani Emporium to be exact. Look at that juice. Does that not invoke cold weather or fall? I really like this one. This is stronger with you intensely. Oh my goodness, guys, this is so good. Anyone who knows my channel knows I love a good gourmand fragrance. Basically, gourmand means if you're just stopping by or if you're new to this kind of stuff, gourmand means basically a fragrance that smells so good, it's good enough to eat. That's my definition of it anyways. But guys, this fragrance is so good. It's nutty. Like I said, it's very sweet. There's some beautiful vanilla in here. I love this one so, so much, guys. And, and there's a nice little toffee note that gives it a chocolatey, nutty, sweet vibe. It's just so good. And this one goes eight hours on my skin. I really, really like it, guys. What are some of your favorite gourmand fragrances this time of year? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, guys, keeping it moving since I have 15. Guys, look it, I put a dent in this one. It's a huge dent for some of you who have problems with people who just have full, full bottles of fragrance and never really use them. Well, I definitely use this one. This is Versace Boron, guys. It is so good. It's so good that I had to get a backup bottle as well. It is one of my favorites here on the list, guys. So, so good. What can I say? It's perfect for the summer, spring and summertime and into the fall. Like, guys, summer lasts here all the way into November here in South Carolina. But anyways, this one is so good. It's fresh. It's aquatic. It's got some nice, it's got a nice spicy feel to it. It's just so good and so classy. And every time I wear this, guys, I get so many compliments. Fresh, clean, spicy, you can't beat it. Again, guys, the price for Versace fragrances is so, so good. And for that, you might as well go ahead and pull the trigger and get you a bottle. If you're looking to stock up for summertime, for when it starts to get warm, or you're going on vacation or going on a cruise this time of year, this will do you right. Look, Versace, look no further than Versace Pour Homme. All right, guys, so now let's move to one of the best fragrance houses in the world when we're talking about designer. Which one's better? Let me know down in the comments. Is it between, it's between Dior, YSL, and of course, Chanel. Which one of your favorite of those three? Dior, YSL, or Chanel? Let me know down in the comments. Let's vote on it. All right, guys, look no further than this bad boy right here. This is by Chanel, one of the best fragrance houses in the world. We all know about the legendary story of the beautiful woman of Coco Chanel. Guys, this fragrance is so amazing. This one is called Allure uh, Home Sport Eau Extreme. I like the presentation. Very, very cool. This is one of those fragrances that when I run out, it, I will run right out and get this back in my collection. Oh my gosh. Guys, so minty, so fresh, so clean. Absolutely amazing. The citrus in this is so creamy. It says it's an orange citrus, but to me, I smell a lemon zest and it's just so creamy and so beautiful and so vibrant. And I feel like you can wear this all year round. You can wear it to the gym. You can wear it to run errands. It's so mass appealing and it's just, it's so beautiful guys. That creamy citrusy fragrance really envelops me. I love it so much. It takes me to a happy place. Man, do I get compliments when I wear this bad boy. You're gonna pay a little bit for this fragrance. It's hard to find them on discounters but it's so, so good. All right, guys, staying in the same house, we're gonna revisit Chanel here again. This one is called Blue Day Chanel. Wow, guys, what can I say? One of my favorites. Now, this one happens to be the Parfum. I'm not sure which concentration you guys like. We can argue about that in the comments if you want, but this one is so good. It's blended so well. It's so smooth, guys. It's citrusy on the top. There's some mint in here. It's really, really good. It's zesty, there's lavender. Man, I really, really love this one. And there's some nice woody nuances as well. And I find that this fragrance is one of the most versatile fragrances that I own. This is my favorite of all the versatile fragrances that I've showed you. I really, really like this one. It's so classy, guys. You're gonna smell like a million bucks and it's gonna boost your confidence. If you don't know about this one, please, please try Blue Day Chanel. If you're looking for one fragrance for life, this is the one right here. All right, guys, let's go back to YSL. I talked about one of those three, YSL, Dior, or Chanel. Let's go back to YSL's Tuxedo. Man, this is perfect for the winter time. It's one of my favorite fragrances. It's very boozy, it's very sweet, it's very warming. I absolutely love this fragrance, man. It is so intoxicating. There, with, with it being so sweet and so boozy, there's just something so classy about this fragrance. I love the cap. I love the weight. It's a magnetic cap. And it's just so gorgeous, guys. It's got the YSL logo on the top. I love the color of the juice. It's just, I love this bottle. It's so simplistic, guys. 
you want this fragrance for the winter time trust me it costs a pretty penny but to me the price is worth it all right guys let's go back to dior now who's the best is it dior chanel or ysl this time we're gonna go with an old school classic guys it's been around for a little while you guys all know about this one again the famous saying unless you've been hiding under a rock you know this fragrance is associated with johnny depp it is so good guys it's one of my wife's all-time favorite favorite fragrances and i've got quite a dent in this one i don't know if you can see it my wife wears this one too she borrows this one from me and it is so good guys i've had a sample of the parfum the edp i really really happen to like the edt it does amazing on my skin it lasts that's what i love about this fragrance this is considered a blue fragrance and it lasts and it performs and projects and goes all day on my skin and that's one of the things i like about it but it's just so fresh and spicy and it's just i get so many compliments there's a nice sweetness to it almost like a vanilla but i love it love it so much guys one of my favorites i know a lot of you guys are very this fragrance is very polarizing for a lot of you guys you either love it or hate it well i just happen to fall on the love it side <laughs> guys this is an all-time classic i love this one this is so mature and I, it's just one of my favorite fragrances here it is right here this is very elegant now i haven't sprayed a lot out of this juice because i was living with a decant before i bought the full bottle but i definitely blazed through the decant i absolutely destroyed it so i knew i had to have a bottle of this guys again not to repeat myself but this is old world charm very old school but it still translates today i still think man when you wear this fragrance you just feel like a million bucks you feel so elegant and so classic and I just, I feel like an adult when I wear this one. If you're looking for the adult in the room, then this is the fragrance for you. Let me go ahead and spray this one. I'm gonna spray, actually spray this one on skin. Oh my goodness. It's so musky, so vibrant, so citrusy. Man, I really love how musky this fragrance is. I really love the citrus that's blended with it it's so good like i say it's got this nice old school charm that just smells fantastic it's very zesty guys and very vibrant and just really pops on my skin i really love this one all right guys let's keep it moving next we're going to be talking about another winter fragrance on my list this is from one of my all-time favorite houses this is from the house of muglar guys look at this i love this one this is pure havane and it's exactly what you would think, guys. It is the quintessential perfect tobacco fragrance. Oh my goodness, honey, tobacco, vanilla, chocolatey, amber, guys, it is so good. It's an amazing gourmandish tobacco fragrance, guys. I love it so much. It's one of my favorite tobacco fragrances in my collection, and I am so glad I got a bottle of this. So amazing in every way. And I'm thinking about doing maybe a tobacco fragrance atop top 10 top 15 something like that and i know this guy is going to be in it because it's so good all right guys keeping it moving let's go with another fall winter fragrance Woo! this one is good guys if you're looking for a leathery boozy fragrance you can put this in your top 10 leather video you can put this in your top 10 boozy video and i love the way it looks like a flask i love the presentation isn't that cool oh fresh lavender leather when it starts to settle down very boozy in the heart man it is so good and guys i keep saying this over and over but this one is blended to perfection what do you all think about this one so good right all right keeping it moving guys going to one of my favorite houses as well i think i say that a lot yeah i do sorry sue me all right guys this one is from the house of Guerlain. This is the Lome Adiel line or the Lome EDL line. Guys, this is a cherry bomb. What more do I need to say? Woody nuances, but mostly cherry. Some nice vanilla in here. Oh, so, so intoxicating. You have to get a bottle of this, whether it's the EDT or the EDP. I happen to have both. Or if you want to get the extreme, that one is good too. It's got a nice little plum note in there. Wow, guys, so good. I did recently did a cherry video. If you haven't checked it out, please go and look for that one. It's not too far down on the list, but it's, this is one of the all time great cherry fragrances. Spectacular, smooth, amazing. You're gonna get compliments. The ladies love this one. It's fun, it's flirty, perfect for the winter, perfect for the date. And I get about six to eight hours on my skin. Really, really love this one, guys. Woo! And this is my second bottle, by the way. I've already blew for the, through the first bottle. 
All right, last but not least on my top 15, guys. Here we go. Victor and Rolf, Spice Bomb Extreme. Guys, what a cool presentation, right? At first I thought it was tacky, but now I like it. You pull the pin, you throw it up. No, I'm just kidding, guys. This fragrance is so good. It's one of the best vanilla fragrances out there that is from a designer. It is spicy, it's sweet, it's gorgeous, it lasts all day. And this, probably the two best performing fragrances are this one right here and this one right here, guys. Both of them are spicy in different ways. Both of them have a nice tonka vanilla base. Man, guys, so good. This is one of the best tobacco, vanilla, spicy fragrances out there and i absolutely freaking love it guys so go ahead and get your nose on this one you'll thank me for it later there you go those are my top 15. what do you guys think what do you think of my list where did i go right where did i go wrong let me know about your list down below in the comments i love hearing from you guys thank you so much for joining me today again i really appreciate it if you're not subscribed what are you waiting for guys it doesn't cost it's free it's so easy just hit that hit it, hit it, subscribe, and then hit that bell notification because it helps the algorithm. Guys, it gets the videos out there so it gets to more people and we can all share in the, in the fun and the excitement and you can come be a part of my fragrance family because I really want you to be a part of it, guys. Why? Not so I can get rich or famous or successful because I learn from you and I really love interacting with you guys. It's so much fun. So again, thank you for being here. It really means the world. Now listen, remember to always be yourself as long as yourself smells so very good and i'll see you guys next time all right peace love ciao